Good morning, Ionson Valley. This is Marie's Kitchen. Welcome. And uh, today we are going to prepare something from a region of France called Provence. And the dish is called Ratatouille. Some of you know the movie Ratatouille, nothing to do with that. It's just a, a special classic dish from the region of South of France, Provence. So what we're gonna need today is olive oil, of course, um, because it's Mediterranean cooking today, and it's vegetarian. So for my friends, because some of my friends ask me, can you do a vegetarian dish, Marie? I say, absolutely. So I decide to go with the ratatouille. It's really good, a lot of veggie mixed together, and actually um, the term ratatouille come from tui, Touye, touye meaning mixing together, but we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. So I have a medium onions, yellow onion. I have one eggplant. I have two small zucchini. I have one red bell pepper and one green bell pepper. I have three Roma tomatoes. And if you don't want to use the Roma tomato, you can also use a can and you can also use two big tomato. I have two cloves of garlic, salt and pepper, of course, and some thyme. If you like more power flavor in your ratatouille, you can also add rosemary. So before we start, I'm gonna show you, I already diced all the vegetable because that's what takes the longest time to, to do but uh, I'm gonna show you how to dice uh, the tomato and uh, yellow bell pepper, um, and also how to do the garlic. So what I'm gonna do is to show you how to dice the tomato. So like the Roma, this is obviously not a Roma tomato, but it, you do the same, so you cut in the middle, at least that's my technique, you take the end, and then what I do, either you can use a, um, a, a knife and just take the seeds out of the tomato, because I don't want the seed. And I will keep the seeds just if I make a soup or another dish, then I want to, to add something, because you know that's what it is. Cooking, it's just come from your mood, from, from your heart, oh, well, I have this left over, whoops, I'm gonna put it in a soup, you know, that kind of thing. So this is how I do it. And you know, the first one I use my knife, but you can also use just your, your spoon and you scoop, you just scoop. But you don't want too much seeds because it's, it's wet. So that is how I do. And if you don't like the skin, you know, when, and you know, you, you do like a julienne, meaning slice. And if you don't like the skin on your tomato, you say, well, you know, I don't want the skin to be um, in my ratatouille. Well, you can blanch them and peel them. And I think you know how to do that. You boil, boil some water, put your tomato in it, then directly put them in the cold water and then you can peel them and you will have tomato without the, the skin. In my case, I like what we call rustique, rustique recipe. So I keep the, the skin on the tomato. So you see that I did slice and now I just diced the tomato. Very, very easy process. And again, if it's not the way you want to do it, it doesn't matter. But what's important in the ratatouille is keep the, keep the cutting about uh, consistent, so diced. And the reason is the cooking will be more even and also the presentation when it's time to put in your plate will be really nice. Up, et voila. And now I'm gonna show you how to dice, and I'm gonna do just half of the yellow bell pepper. I have red, I have green, and I'm gonna add yellow because the ratatouille recipe, it's colorful, just like in South of France, you know, the sun and, 
and the, the joie de vivre of those people living there. They are very proud of their ratatouille. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the white part. Oh, and I'm gonna go in the middle. I like to take the white part, but it's a little bit bitter and I don't like that taste. So that's the reason I'm taking all the white and we could do the whole thing, but I think I have enough. And don't forget to protect your finger. See, I do the same technique, Julianne, as the tomato, and I did exactly the same technique for the zucchini and the eggplant as well as the onions. So again, I'm gonna dice, et voila. So I'm gonna add that also with the red and the green bell pepper that we already have there. And then the last but not least, because in South of France, like in, in Italy, all the Mediterranean cooking, they use a lot of garlic. So the two main ingredients for those kind of cooking, Mediterranean cooking, it's olive oil and garlic. Just having that cooking together make your house, your kitchen smells so good, so good. There. So this one, I think it's still one of mine garden. See this little green in the middle? Some people sometimes doesn't know what to do with it. In my case, I always take it out. Why? Because again, this, this area here, it's bitter and I don't want that. I like to have a see it's that little green. This one has more, so you will see it better here. See this green, mm -mm, don't like it, take it out. Um, it's some recipe will tell you, you can dice the garlic. In my case, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna like this big piece, I'm gonna cut it in two. You know, if it's just a big chunk like that, I'll cut it in the middle and make it two pieces, but I won't, I won't do uh, small pieces. Et voila. So now we have absolutely everything we need for the, the recipe and just let's start cooking. When life calls for necessary add-ons, your home can pitch in to help with a new home equity line of credit from D11's bank. This is living on a whole new level. This is Community Banking. Better food, better price, better service. Atkinson's Market, supporting local farmers since 1956. All right, let's start the recipe now. So I'm going to start the stove at medium high, and I am going to do two tablespoons of olive oil olive oil and I would I mean if you want to use vegetable oil it's fine too but actually because I have a big pan I'm gonna put three um, two and a half the recipe really is with the olive oil because in Provence they use a lot of that but like I say if you want to use vegetable oil it's fine so the first thing I'm gonna cook, it's the onions. Those uh, takes a little bit longer. You cook the onions and you, you cook them until they sweat and they are translucent. At this point, I think I'm gonna put on a high and I'm gonna make sure everything is layered. And then this process is gonna be, it's a little bit like the, the risotto recipe. This process is gonna take about two to three minutes. We don't want the onions to be brownish color. We do not want that. We just want it sweat enough. So meaning they're already uh, soft. So that's for a cooking reason later, it will cook better. So this is the onions. And I think I can put my bell peppers. Yep, I think I can do that. There it goes. Ah, oh, the color, so beautiful. 
I just love this recipe. It's so colorful. Oh, you would like this. So I'm not gonna wait three or four minutes, but you know that it's about that. Three, four minutes for each vegetable. So in each time you add, and I still have it on high, so I'm gonna put it back on medium high. I'm gonna go with the zucchini. So now I'm adding the zucchini in. Not a beautiful color. There it goes. Ooh, yum, yum. Et voila, for the zucchini. And now I'm gonna put my eggplant. Okay, and this is one eggplant goes a long way, but it, there is a lot of water in the eggplant, so trust me, it's gonna reduce quite a bit. So don't worry. And I'm gonna wait a little bit to make sure that the eggplant are sweating as well before I put my tomatoes, garlic, salt and pepper, cover for 35 to 40 minutes and your dish will be ready. Now I have my tomatoes and you can see the garlic and I'm gonna just pour the whole thing, put my thyme stir, because remember, touye comes from, uh, it's a slang word touye for mixing, stirring. All right, now then my vegetables are all there in my pan and all well mixed. We are gonna let it cook on medium low between 30 and 40 minutes. And then when we come back, I will serve. So we'll be right back. See you in a bit. When life calls for necessary add-ons, your home can pitch in to help with a new home equity line of credit from D11's bank. This is living on a whole new level. This is Community Banking. Let the event dazzle your guests by creating a sensational experience. Let the event take your party over the top. As an independent insurance agency, we represent you to the insurance company, not the insurance company to you. This allows Wood River Insurance to be as competitive as possible. So call us today at 208-788-1100 and let Wood River Insurance represent you. Okay, welcome back. So now that my ratatouille is ready, it did cook for 30 minutes. So I told you earlier, maybe 30 to 45 minutes, it depends. But this one's just 30 minutes and it was cooked. So we're gonna serve, you know, my favorite part of the show, we're gonna taste. So the only thing I'm gonna take off the, the pan is the thyme. So I'm gonna put it on the side and I am gonna scoop. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at those color. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. And I, you know me, I like my little decoration. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna taste, look at this. It's, isn't it beautiful? It really is beautiful. So, and um, if you can always taste, remember I told you earlier, if you think that there needs more salt and pepper, just please feel free to, um, to do so. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, so, so good. You have that mix of all those vegetables. Just the color make it taste even better. And I, um, I wanted to say also another thing about the cooking. If you like your vegetable a little bit more crunchy, well, of course, you're going to cook it less. You know, it, it's again, it depends what you like. It's all about what you, your family, your friends likes. Uh, in my case, I like it a little bit crunchy, but not much. I like it more on the soft side. So, and that's what I did with that. But it's really, really, really good. I like to serve my uh, ratatouille also with rice. And like I said, I don't serve ratatouille with the fish, but uh, definitely uh, the chicken, the pork, uh, that's a great dish. And of course, just a plain dish. 
but uh, this will um, put some color in, 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 uh, on your table when you serve. And it's a great uh, pl uh, dish also to share with friends and family. Now, if you see this muffin pan, you say, what the heck is she doing with that? Well, a friend of mine told me, if you have ratatouille left over, what you do, you take a uh, muffin pan or this dish, whatever you call this, you just gonna scoop your leftover ratatouille, put in the freezer, and then you have individual portion if you feel like having ratatouille one evening or one day or one lunch or whatever it is. And I thought that was a brilliant idea. So I just wanted to share that idea with you just in case you think that it's a good idea too. Who knows? Anyway, well, thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen with Eye on Sun Valley. And like I say, have a great day. See you soon. Au revoir.